homesick US Air Force mechanic stole a plane from a UK airbase after becoming homesick, uh, but sadly he never made it home. Sergeant Paul Mayer was a chief mechanic with the USAF, which was based in Suffolk in 1969. Paul was missing his wife and requested early leave so that he could go back home to see her. His request was declined. Paul then started to hit the bottle, and pretty hard, unfortunately. Uh, in his reported drunken state, he stole a four-engine military cargo plane so that he could fly it home. He posed as a captain and ordered the plane to be refueled, and then he set off. Now, Paul could fly a plane, but not one of that size. Uh, reports say that during takeoff, one of the wingtips almost touched the runway, but he managed to sort himself out and flew off in a southwesterly direction. Uh, his last reported words were, Leave me alone for five minutes. I've got trouble. Uh, he was never heard from or seen again. So 50 years later, a group of scuba divers from Deep Dorset think that they may have found the wreckage of the plane. Now at this moment, they're pre keeping a pretty tight lips uh, on this location or where they think it is, which definitely makes sense. Um, they're just waiting for confirmation on whether it is in fact Paul's last resting place. So Deep Dorset crew treated the wreckage as a crime scene as do not disturb Paul uh, and any evidence that points to this being the missing plane, which is very well done. So the only way they can confirm if this is in fact the plane is to reverse engineer the sequence of events that they have already mapped out, uh, the sites using sort of sonar and whatnot, uh, and now specialists are working on crash patterns and other tricks to try and find out whether in fact this is the plane. Now you're probably thinking, what about Paul's body? Well, by the sounds of things, it isn't there. Okay, if we go back 50 years, around the same time Paul took the plane, reports around Alderney say that people reported seeing a plane crash in the sea, and then days later, wreckage started to wash ashore. And even later than that, in the same year, a body wearing a flight suit was spotted in the water near Jersey, but before it can be recovered, it drifted away. So yeah, if this is the plane wreck, this will no doubt clean up any conspiracies to what actually happened to Paul and whether that was him who crashed into the ocean. So what do you think about this story? Do you think this is the resting place of Paul Mayer? Uh, or is it just another shipwreck? Not even a shipwreck, that would be a plane wreck. Uh, let's have a chat about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.